Nous avons dit que 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 You get disappear, you disappear inside other people there. You don't feel issues behind the courses that they are going to take. Thank you so much, Mr. Buya. You will always say thank you so much, uh, the area education officer, Mr. Buya, for the honor to attend this occasion when I did you a Because job has a speech that he will deliver and all of us will listen to it. Simon, where are you? As Simon comes, I'm going to... He is with us. I'm therefore going to invite one of us who will stand in to invite Job Tambo himself. I hope you are aware Job is with us. led by the director himself, Joe Tambo, uh, who has come forward to sponsor 110 students to the university. Each one of the 110 students who has been identified from very poor backgrounds, many of them are actually uh, orphans and partial orphans, have been given 10,000 each. An amount of money that has already been paid to the various universities which they are joining. And uh, on behalf of uh, the sub-county, On behalf of the community, I want to say thank you, Bonatambo, wherever you are, may God bless you. We've also had the opportunity to talk to our students who are joining the university about their responsibilities. We talked about the issues of being disciplined when they are there, working hard so that they can pass in their exams. And uh, we've also talked to them about uh, the new model, uh, government funding model for the university students, in which we have four categories in which uh, the category number one is uh, th those who are classified as vulnerable. Many of them are orphans coming from uh, very, very poor families. And uh, what the government is doing this one is that uh, for those who are vulnerable, the government is giving a scholarship of 80% of the fees that is paid to the, to the respective universities. And then also they will be given uh, the rest 20% as loans to enable them to uh, pursue their education. The second category is classified as, as extremely needy. And this ones again will receive scholarship up to 70% of the fees payable in their respective universities and this, then also they will be given a loan of 30%. In the first two categories of the vulnerable and the most needy, we realize that the parents have, been, uh, have not been factored in. The government is taking care of everything in the new model. Then uh, category three, uh, we are talking about uh, needy students, uh, in which case they shall be awarded by the government 50% of the fees payable and then they will also be given uh, 30% of, of loan of 30 fees and then in this category the parents are supposed to chip in in the fees payable up to uh, 20% and then we have need uh, classified as needed this is where uh, in these homes there is a very good income and this, the parents can come in and in this category we have the government giving to the students 32% of the fees payable in their respective universities for the various courses. They're also 40% uh, by the government, and therefore, that what it means is that the parents or the household will pay simply 20% of the payable fees. We've talked about this, and uh, we have encouraged them to actually work hard, and we ensure that uh, those who are very vulnerable, coming from poor backgrounds, will actually not be left behind uh, in this education. <laughs> I'm going to join Tombaya University. I'm a beneficiary of Job Tambo Foundation. To me, I can say thank you because he has opened, our, he has rekindled our candles. Where we never thought that we're going to university because he knew university is only for those who have money. For, but for, for Job Tambo, has shown us a way, 
and a brilliant time that we have to study hard and come and help people from our society. We promise him we are going to make him proud, make his name stand firm, and everyone knows that you have to support your community regardless of where you are. Thank you. I'm also a beneficiary of Job Tambo Foundation, and I'm promising that all of us, we are going to our end, we are going to work, do not disappoint him. We are very much thankful, and we are praying for him that God may continue to enlighten his heart, that he may continue to help us, and among others. Thank and on behalf of all the teachers also, I want to thank uh, Job Tambo for this good initiative that he has taken to actually ensure that these our young uh, boys and girls and they realize their dreams. It is a good initiative that we are going to support. We will follow up and ensure that we talk with these young uh, gentlemen and ladies to ensure that whatever they go to do, they do it at their best. And we insist that uh, uh, they ensure that when they are at their colleges, universities or wherever they are, they maintain discipline because the society is looking at them and we are expecting the best out of what they are being given. Uh, thank you very much even for the press, everyone for coming. It's a good initiative. May God bless all that we have done today. And to the DCC, Please continue standing with this parent, continue starting with this uh, initiative. Uh, we thank you for coming, taking your time, showing that this is actually something being supported by all ranks. God bless you very much and God bless everyone. I know there is a challenge of uh, those who are below 18, but the government also knows that ma many of them are actually 17 going to 18. And uh, the government is aware that uh, they don't have uh, national identity cards, but we have encouraged them to, as soon as they hit 18, quickly apply and uh, I'm, I'm aware that the, the, health, the, the University Education Loans Board has said it very clear that uh, the loans will be awarded but as soon as that, that, that student is able to, uh, to, to give uh, an ID to the, to the university. Tuliona siku ya leo ni siku muhimu tufanye tufanye watoto vwema kwa sabu tukona watoto karibu mianane suna east walifusu kuenda university. Na kwa sababu, government waliongeza karo ya university, tulifikiria kukai chini si budget yetu, lakini tumefikiria. Hawa watoto wanaweza kupata basari, ndiyo wapate na fu ya kuenda university. Tuka na sponsor, na sponsor akakubali, anataka watoto wa some suna east. Hiyo ndiyo kwa sababu, tumechukua watoto miya moja na kumi. Wale tumepewa basari. Hiyo ni milion moja, elofu miya moja. Kwa sababu kila mtoto anapata ilifu kumi. Kwa hivyo tulikutana na komishona na ma chiefs, tukakaa chini, tukafikiria kitu gani tunaweza kuselek na watoto. Komishona akadaivaja au watoto wote, mia moja, lakini kumi kwa sababu watoto wa meshidi, tumeongeza sahi. Tumeongeza watoto kumi kwa sababu hata wana uniform, tumeona tukona tume, watoto wa ekima, total orphan, tumetoa kumi tena leo. Sasa hiyo ndiyo kazi tulifikiria tufanya kwa suna east, kwa sabu masomo ndiyo misingi ya kila kitu. Bila masomo, hakuna chochote inaweza kufanyika suna east. Hivyo ndiyo kwa sababu tumeona hao watoto wamefusu kuenda university, tupewe lufukumi kama bazari kwa kila mtoto. E, tulikuwa tunaomba sirikali yetu, under president, um, president yetu ni ruto, Hiyo ndiyo kwa sababu tumefikiria tumewafanya na serikali kwa sababu tunajua kila chochote inafanywa bila serikali hakuna mahali ikiyo ya hiyo kitu. Sasa tunaomba serikali au watoto wamepita suna east kama wako na chochote wanaweza kufanya tunataka tufanya kazi pamoja. Uh, tunaomba serikali uh, wapatie wakulima mbolea hiyo pia inaweza kupunguza wa gharama. Uh, basari iko mabasari inakuja under national government wapewe watoto pia tuungana pamoja tufanye na constituency county ndio tupate suna east inaweza kufanya kazi na bidi bila bila ubaguzi bila rangi yoyote tufanye kama watu wa suna east he sponsored a total of 49 students in form 1 spread across suna east uh, sub county he is paying their school fee in total he is also doing them shopping that can uh, sustain them in school because this is a challenge that most parents may not be able to meet. And uh, this year, he is also incorporating 
students joining universities and TVET and other colleges. He wants students to get the right skill that can uh, help improve the economy of the country. Uh, for college students right now, he has started with 100. The number is expected to increase every year because every intake he will be sponsoring a number. And now for 2023, he has started with 100 spread across uh, the four wards of uh, uh, Suna East Sub-County. Uh, Godjope Ward ha has 30 students, Kwa Ward has 30 students, uh, Central Ward has 20, Kakara Ward has 20, so a total of 100. Uh, the new funding model is good. So long as there will be honesty in it, it is going to be a big relief to the vulnerable student. But the students must be careful because the students that are less needy are going to be subjected to higher loans. And higher loans definitely will re attract uh, higher demands from the government because they must give it with a small uh, profit margin. You never return only the, uh, the capital that you are given. So if they are going to get up to 55%, then they must be ready to repay higher amounts of money. And that is where Job Tambo Now Foundation comes in. Because once you are relieved, then it means the student will be applying for less. And when they start working, less will be demanded from them from the government. So it is a relief to the student immediately they start working. Or else some of the students will not know peace in their first 10 years of work because nearly all their income will be going to repaying the loan that they got during education. But the very vulnerable students, they are okay because even their loan percentage is less. Bulk of it is going to be the government subsidy. So when, you know, the subsidy will not be refunded, but the loan will be refunded. So it is going to be a relief to the less needy students. But the very vulnerable students, uh, the government is already taking care of them.